Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today, we are going to take another step in our effort to construct the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia by examining the Doru Doru no Mi. The Doru Doru no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to conjure large proportions of wax from their body and shape it into seemingly whatever the user desires. It was eaten by Galdino, who is better known to the fanbase as Mr. Three, and it was first showcased during the Little Garden arc. The Dorodoro no Mi takes its name from the latter portion of the Japanese word Kyandoru, and if you're an English speaker then that word should sound quite familiar to you, because it's a pretty straight up case of language thievery, quite specifically of the word candle, which apparently was spelt as candel in ye olde English. Oh how foolish we were back in the day. But moving on to something very exciting, this devil fruit is the first we have encountered in the encyclopedia series to have a consensus on its translation, with Viz, Funimation and 4Kids each electing to call it the Wax Wax Fruit. Sadly, we don't quite have a full house though, as the infamous Odex dub decided to call it Fruit of the Doru Doru. And you know what? Yep, sure. I mean, at least it has fruit in the name, unlike the Seed of Smoke from the Moku Moku no Mi. In any case, wax probably doesn't sound like the most exciting of substances to generate at first, and you know what? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at just how cool wax can be. First up, it's an extraordinarily versatile substance that gets used in pretty much everything. Art, cheese preservation, hair removal, house sigils, toboggans, and as a general lubricant on any object. Oh, and candles, that's the obvious one. But the point is that wax is a substance that has been used since the times of ancient ancient Egypt right through till modern day, so it's pretty handy stuff. Especially when you've consumed a magical fruit that allows you to produce seemingly infinite amounts of it. Which is the first key advantage of the Doro Doro no Mi, sheer quantity. I'm sure there's a limit to its productive capabilities, but from what we've seen of the fruit so far, a pretty absurd amount of wax can be generated and controlled before we reach that limit. Like an entire giant birthday cake's worth, for example. The other very important thing to mention about this particular wax is its unusual level of strength, as the product of the Doro Doro no Mi is said to be about as tough as steel once it has hardened completely, which is not a difficult condition to accomplish by the way, as the user of the Doro Doro no Mi appears to have complete control of the structural condition of the wax with little to no delay and changes. However, with the revelation of the sheer toughness of this wax, a whole new realm of possibilities has been opened up, particularly in the realm of combat. I mean, let's just examine the most brute and basic possibility whereby the user coats their fist in wax. All of a sudden, you have a steel punch after expending no effort whatsoever. Alternatively, you could think more defensively and make yourself some steely waxy armor, which would be next to impossible to break in the real world, maybe not so much in the world of One Piece, but it's still a pretty damn nice thing to have, especially if it were Haki imbued to boot. Of course, it's not quite that simple because once the wax has hardened, the user would presumably not be able to move the encased part of their body. So the more of your body you cover in wax, the less maneuverability you possess, which means you'll need to play this constant game of liquefying and solidifying, the former of which leaves you quite vulnerable to a counter strike. Speaking of liquefying though, this is a great time to bring up the greatest ally and yet enemy of wax being heat. Despite becoming tough as steel in its hardened form, wax produced by the Doro Doro no Mi will still be susceptible to heat. So people may not necessarily be able to break through your wax, but they can most certainly melt through it, which is a pretty huge weakness really, as fire is not a difficult thing to source. However, if your opponents are not prepared to deal with wax, then you stand at a significant advantage, because not only do you have access to the self-improvement techniques I've already discussed, but you also have the opportunity to use wax on your challenges. I mean, it should be a fairly simple exercise to bind their arms or legs together, and that's being merciful. In theory, you could just start out by fully encasing an opponent entirely in wax, and even suffocate them if you want to go all dark and murdery. Even if we don't want to quite go that far though, at the very least this fruit has some serious potential to render opponents immobile. But putting fighting aside for now, the Doro Doro no Mi also has some exceptional use in everyday life. I mean, just imagine having the ability to conjure a house for yourself wherever you go. It's made of wax, so it might not be the most aesthetically appealing house, but it's a efficient shelter, and we don't need to do anything so grand with it either, as the Doro Doro no Mi seems capable of near perfectly replicating most objects regardless of the detail involved, the best example of which we've seen in the series were the various keys constructed by Galdino. And these abilities when applied to that micro scale of thought are essentially limitless. Just think of any non-electrical object in your house, and you can more than likely construct it out of wax. Chairs, tables, eating utensils, I mean the only thing it's not quite capable of is comfort, but even then surely you could strike the right balance between liquid and solid wax that would allow you to construct yourself a nice plushy slab of wax to sit or lie on. 
But going even smaller, the wax could be used to produce components of certain objects like gears, nuts, bolts, or any mechanical needs you come across, provided you understand the shape of what you need. Of course, real wax would never do the job, but due to the fact that what we're talking about is essentially solid steel wax, it certainly is a handy possibility, so long as the thing we're building or repairing doesn't generate too much heat. And if you had a mind for engineering, then I don't see why you wouldn't be able to use the Doro Doro no Mi like a glorified 3D printer. For example, if you understood the mechanical components of, say, a gun, then would there be anything to stop you crafting it out of the wax of the Doro Doro? Then again, we should also examine the opposite end of the spectrum, which is the application of the fruit in the arts world. And to do that, we need look no further than Galdino himself. You see, for better or worse, Galdino considers himself a bit of an artiste, and as such, he uses his devil fruit abilities more as a medium for producing art installations. The best example of this is when he captured Vivi, Zora, and Nami on a giant wax birthday cake, and had wax vapor slowly fall upon them, with the idea of very eventually creating wax dolls, suffocating the targets in the process, but their lives are simply not as important as art. Now there is a broad philosophy in all areas of the art world, whereby artists either work for the outcome or work for the process. And what I mean by the latter is an individual who takes more pleasure in the creation of art rather than the finished product. And Galdino certainly falls into the latter category, which is very at odds with his initial profession as an assassin. I believe that if Galdino were a more direct-minded person like say Mr. One, then he would undoubtedly use the Doro Doro no Mi much more effectively. Even Galdino's most prized work, Candle Champion, is pretty lacking in its overall purpose of providing a mechanism to fight strong opponents. Admittedly, it looks pretty cool, particularly with Miss Goldenwig's painting at it. Oh, and speaking of, Galdino also has the fun ability to create about a billion wax clones of himself. But without Miss Goldenwig's painting, they'd be pretty useless. I mean, even with the painting, Luffy was able to determine who the real Galdino was, and well... This is Luffy we're talking about here. And just on the topic of Luffy, one of the finest uses of the Doro Doro no Mi, in my opinion, was when Galdino and Luffy teamed up during the Impel Down arc. These two became a seriously dangerous team that were able to combat even Magellan, which leads me to believe that this Devil Fruit has phenomenal potential to be used as a support item to further enhance an already crazily powerful person. Other than that, I have to say that Galdino does have at least one more interesting and innovative use of the fruit, which is by using the wax as a fuel source for his ship. Exactly how he has managed to achieve this is unknown, but self-propelled travel is always a handy feature. In regards to the potential awakening of the Doro Doro no Mi, it seems pretty promising. Like most Paramecias, I'd assume that it would allow the user to control their immediate environment according to their particular ability, in this case being wax. That would be pretty incredible, especially in combat, because unless your opponent knows fancy skywalking techniques, they really would be at your complete mercy. I mean, the instant they touch your wax, you just harden it, trap them, and should they be physically strong enough to break through the steel grade wax, then just keep piling the wax on. And I imagine that is only a taste of what the potential of an awakened Doro Doro no Mi could do. A seriously proficient user of this fruit in its awakened form would be a pretty damn threatening presence in the world of One Piece. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a wax human. Partaking in this devil fruit actually comes with the slight side effect of your hair bursting into flame, which seems to be the mechanism by which the user can melt their own wax. So that's kind of cool. I guess. It may also be worth noting that the wax produced by the Doro Doro no Mi is quite resistant to acidity, which was shown when the Banana Wani stomach acid failed to dissolve Galdino's wax encasement, as well as when Galdino was able to conjure wax to block Magellan's poison for a short time. The Doro Doro no Mi is also not to be confused with a Logia. A lot of times it looks like Galdino's body is morphing into wax, but that is not the case. This fruit only allows a user to generate and manipulate wax. In essence, the Doro Doro no Mi really ticks all the boxes. As a straightforward combat fighty fighty fruit, it allows the user to not only significantly enhance their own body, but also the chance to easily immobilize and even kill an enemy. In every other aspect of life, the Doro Doro no Mi holds an endless amount of potential and provides a utility device capable of conjuring pretty much every object you can imagine, big or small, bland or detailed, with the one caveat that the object is wax. But wax is hard to steal. I believe that this fruit would be best suited to an engineer or an individual with a mind for building in general in order to achieve its maximum potential. However, no matter what the person, consumption of the Doro Doro no Mi will see pretty amazing benefits. This fruit is highly underrated, more than likely as a result of how its powers are displayed through Galdino, but if nothing else is weird and deranged use, just goes to show how much potential it has in any given context. And with that, we are going to commit the Doro Doro no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. 
Next week, we will be appraising the second Logia to appear in the encyclopedia, the Sooner Sooner No Me. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Doro Doro No Me. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.